Hi there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to apply follow through in your animation inside of After Effects. So, let's start. Okay, so right now we are inside of After Effects and in this lesson, we are going to apply follow through in our animation. So, in the end, at the end of the lesson, we are going to apply follow through in this particular walk cycle. But before that, we are going to animate. We are going to learn how to apply follow through with some basic shape animation. So here we have a circle. So we are going to add some ball bounce animation to it. So let's add position property to it and add some ball bounce. So right now the whole animation will look pretty linear. But first of all, we need to separate the dimensions and I'm going to delete the x property and i'm going to work only with the y property and edit the motion graph editor a bit so i'm making these ends stiffer so that it moves faster at this particular area okay let's preview the animation yeah it's perfect right now we are going to add loop expression to it all right so after that we are going to copy this layer again and let's change its color so that we can differentiate it okay and after that let's scale it down as well now it already have these keyframes and we are going to jump on to this particular position and we are going to first of all parent this with this one and let's put it over here okay and let's preview it right now both the things are moving pretty uh, much at the same task at the same time so it's looking not looking that good but if we just simply offset it it will add some follow through to it if we just jump on to next two frames and let's offset it by two frames and just you can see the difference all right and let's jump on to you can even experiment it with that how much offset will look better try to uh, play with it and get the best result possible yeah it's actually too much all right so in the next one let's take another example of our tail animation so here is a simple tail illustration let's add some pins to it all right and after that i'm going to select the puppet and add i mean just convert those pins into bone layers and let's rename the layers first all right so right now we are going to add follow through we are going to simply add animation to this tail so that it actually looks like a tail so first of all, I'm going to add rotation keyframe to it and let's jump on to six frames and I'm going to add slight movement in the upper direction. Okay, so before that we need to parent, we need to parent this one with this one in the alternative way. All right, so let's add rotation property, jump on to next six frames and let's add some animation to it let's add around 12 degrees yeah that would be fine and again i will jump on to next six frames and simply copy or just give it minus six or minus 12 and also in the initial layers as well all right so after that i'm going to just add loop expression to it in all of them and after that let's select all of the layers and just convert it into easy easy keyframes okay right now let's add the follow through so this is the first layer so this will uh i mean uh, in the previous lesson we have learned that there is w one part that leads the movement and another part follows it so this particular pin will lead the movement and we need to offset start offsetting from this one let's add three or maybe four let's uh, start with three same for the other ones as well yeah it's already looking like a tail and giving a feeling of a tail 
as you can see but we can uh, let's go a bit farther and jump onto 4 okay i think it's a bit too much it's actually looking fine consider the uh, i mean uh, the shape so it's he actually look fine again it will depend on how fast the animal is moving i mean if it's a tail animation then of course uh, i mean if it's running or walking depending on that we can adjust but for a tail animation or even uh, for adding follow through like this you can add follow through but uh, you can also do some little experiment okay so let's jump on to the walk cycle animation and let's apply follow through to in that particular character as well so right now we are uh, going to apply follow through in this particular walk cycle animation now i have already shown you guys how to animate a walk cycle you can check it from the links in the description and in this one we are going to apply follow through okay so i'm going to start with the tail of the character let's solo the layers first and check it out so this is the illustration and these are the bone tools similar to the last example and i have parented it in the alternative way t2 i mean the tip one tip bone with the t1 the this mid section and this t2 with t1 which is attached to the body so i have parented t1 with the body only so first of all i'm going to add rotation on t2 and t1 and again jump on to this pose where the body is at its highest point and simply add some rotation to it i'm going to move it upwards all right now at this particular position we are going to move it downwards now i'm going to copy and paste it alternatively and after that i'm going to paste this loop expression all right and after that let's add some offset to it to add follow through so for that let's start with three frame of offset and i'm going to again offset it with three frames all right let's check the animation yeah it's already looking pretty fine so we can go a bit further let's check it out yeah, it's again looking pretty fine. Now let's offset it this one with one frame. Yeah, it's looking perfect. So right now we are going to add follow through in this hat as well. So let's add over here as well. So this one is attached. I mean, it's parented to the head because head is leading the movement over here. So I'm going to add position and rotation at this point and when this one is uh, when head, when the head is in its highest point we are going to move the hat slightly upwards somewhere around here and i'm going to add some rotation to it all right and again i'm going to paste the initial keyframes when the head is it is a uh, it's down pose so again i will just paste in alternative way so i'm going to easy use the frames and let's add loop expression to it all right now let's offset the rotation from the position and again the whole thing position and rotation with around three frames so let's check the animation yeah it's looking fine but i think we can simply adds i mean just customize the motion graph editor a bit so for that i'm going to jump onto the motion graph editor let's i mean i'm going to only edit the y axis i will simply make the x axis a linear keyframe and let's change the y axis a bit so i'm going to make this slightly stiffer plus something like this so that it actually looks like it's bouncing on the head all right now let's check out the animation okay let's offset it one more frame or rather 
I will simply offset with two frames. Yeah, this one is looking better. All right. So like this, you can apply follow through in your animation, in your character animation as well. Now we can also add some follow through with the hands as well. So for that, we have we can simply offset it slightly like this. And also we can add some follow through in the rotation as well. We are going to simply offset it with around three frames and let's check out. Yeah, it's looking fine. Now let's add some follow through in this head as well because it's whole thing is moving together. So what we can do is we first of all, we are going to apply the loop expression to it. And for the head, as you can see, it's rotating. Let's open the composition. Now you can see that it's rotating in a particular manner. So we can simply add some, uh, I mean, uh, we can add time remapping to this particular layer and uh, we can add loop expression to it. And let's check it out how we ha I have done it. So for this particular hair layer, I mean head layer, I have just added path animation to it so that it actually looks like uh, it's rotating. For the face, I have added track mat, this upper lighter portion of the face and I have simply moved it in the X axis. That's all. For the horn, it's again, it's moving. This is the front total side pose this is where its uh, horn will be at its extreme and then again it uh, then again it will be at its extreme in this particular pose and then again it will go backwards same with the eyes and retina everything so it will again just move in only in x axis okay so let's turn on the time remapping let's enable it and we are going to put a keyframe over here and let's delete the keyframe at the end all right, let's copy the loop expression from here and paste it over here. Okay, now we are going to offset it and let's offset it by four frames. Same with the rotation, we are going to offset the rotation as well. Okay, let's check the animation. Okay, as we have offsetted this head layer, so for that, let's offset this hat as well. Let's check out how it looks like. The previous one was better actually. So you can see the movement of the head is actually looking better after adding some follow through to it. So like this, you can add follow through to your animation. So hope you liked the video and learned a lot from it. I highly recommend you to try it on your own and let me know how it turned out and play with the keyframes and just uh, get the best result possible. Okay, so that is it from this lesson. Hope you liked the video. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, then make sure to comment down below. We'll be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.